This program is produced by New Mexico PBS for a presentation of Vision Maker Media with major funding provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This week, we start a new series, Voting for Future Generations. This series was produced with Vision Maker Media, and we're looking at issues that are important to Native voters in 2016. In the coming weeks, we'll examine the intersections between voting with issues people care about, like the environment, economic development, and justice. Antonia Gonzalez is our correspondent for the series. She's with me now. Antonia is the anchor and producer of National Native News, a national newscast produced here in New Mexico. Welcome. Thank Good you. to see you, absolutely. Now, my first question. Our first story today focuses on the education. Why is that important for Native Americans? Well, education is an issue that's key for tribes across the country and here in New Mexico. Um, you know, a lot of people see it as an avenue for the young people to better their lives. And not only just traditional Western education, but mm -hmm. incorporating traditional Native American values and culture in the classroom and outside of the classroom. So this series, um, or this segment in the series, really looks at a young voter and who's a recent graduate of the University of New Mexico and Teach for America and we follow him mm -hmm. and see why it's important, why he thinks education is important. That sounds exciting. I can't wait to see that. Now, President Obama created a, an initiative a couple of years ago to support young Native Americans and that's getting a little bit of traction. Tell us more about that. Yes, yeah, so Generation Indigenous is an initiative to help improve the lives and give opportunities to Native American youth across the country. Um, this week, the White House just hosted its uh, final uh, in the last eighth of the White House Tribal Nations Conference in Washington, D.C., where um, a representative from each of the 567 federally recognized tribes were invited, mm -hmm. but also young people from across the country, so young people who are already leaders and learning, you know, how, how to, to, how to um, better their skills and leadership. Mm -hmm. So they got a chance to interact with tribal leaders, federal officials, and members of Congress. So the, this initiative um, that was created is helping Native youth across the country, including here in New Mexico. I could imagine. That event looked exciting with the president, by the way. That was very interesting. Is it my understanding that, you know, maybe there's a thought out there, there's a, a momentum to capture with this president and that the time is now for Native American voters and young people to really get some things established before we have a change in presidency. Is that, is that right in your view as well? So what we're hearing from tribal leaders and even people in the, in the Obama administration is that um, prepare for the transition. And I think you'll see in our series is um, some of the people talk about the importance of voting and um, why it's important because some of these tribal issues, um, you'll see that in, in our series coming up that it reflects um, voting and, and, the, and the importance of civic engagement. Absolutely. Interesting, when I think about this, what is unique when you think about it? Here in New Mexico, when it comes to Native education, we have a lot of benefits, of course, having a high percentage of Native Americans here in our state, of course. It's not as if Native Americans are not represented in all levels of education here in our state. However, something's not quite clicking, certainly, and this is part of the endeavor to make things better. But what is it about New Mexico that makes education unique here? Well, tribes here, you know, you have both reservation and off-reservation schools. There's a lot of people who live in urban areas and have access to the public schools. Um, Albuquerque has a Native American Community Academy. And um, something unique that you'll see in our education segment is uh, New Mexico is home to the Santa Fe Indian School, and it's more than 125 years old. And today it's touted as a very, as a leader in Indian education, has high graduation rates. And on top of that, uh, Michelle Obama, uh, the first lady, came last year and gave the commencement to the graduating seniors. And also um, part of Generation Indigenous was having her there and talking to the Santa Fe Indian School students, who a lot of them are going off to college or secondary school, um, trade schools, and on top of that, Ivy League schools. Mm -hmm. Interesting, glad she was here. That was an exciting event. Now, let's see what you found. This could be good. Go with the Amitomasa, Kiori di Sutta, Kakat Alasi, Nums. Uh, greetings and salutations to everyone out there. My name is Amito Pacheco, translates to Rainbow. I'm from Santo Domingo Pueblo, and I am a indigenous teacher. Education is an issue many Native American voters in New Mexico have on their mind as the weeks wind down to the November U.S. presidential election. Oh, hi, Neo. 
It's a Hopi song. Uh, it's uh, just over and over. It says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, life is filled with gratitude. Everything that we do, let's grab it with uh, thanks and appreciation, uh, love and courtesy and respect. The recent University of New Mexico and Teach for America graduate wants to make strides for future generations. First in a number of languages, he sees education advancing the lives of young people. Language is what is what gives you your identity. There's always been that one person that's always taught you. And that one person that taught you teaches you uh, history, teaches you language and culture. Like culture came through me through agriculture, through planting seeds, through planting watermelon. What a non-Native teacher might have a hard time making his connection, a Native American teacher can just sazam. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's for the possibility of rebuilding our Native nations through the, the core of education. At the nearby Santa Fe Indian School, the core value of community and representing tribal nations is shown through tradition and culture. There were tribes from all over the Southwest, tribes from Mexico. You guys got to put your vote in, put your vote in. The fall 2016 convocation centered on the value of civic engagement with an election theme. When it comes to uh, the, elect, the presidential election, these two characters are coming in with, with so much drama, you know, uh, that, that it's, it's actually, uh, you have to, I mean, I have to wonder, is this a hoax? You know, like, where's the real candidates at? I'm hoping I'm going to win this presidential race because we need to make America great again. He's not going to win this. <laughs> when it comes to vote, you know, I, I hope that, that, that the truth is, is that it helps us, you know, move forward. But there's just so much uh, happening now that uh, it seems almost um, hopeless in a sense. <laughs> the school, founded more than 125 years ago, is touted today as a leader in Indian education with an average 98 percent graduation rate. On this day, a mock debate highlighted how leaders can affect their tribal communities. There is pain in change and there's pain in not changing. So if you don't like what you're going through, you don't like what you're hearing, then change it. I think it's really important to start like encouraging others and also myself to have a voice as a Native American. We have a candidate who wants to tear families apart and forcibly deport 11 million undocumented immigrants who wants to build a wall, who talks about banning Muslims from entering the country. That is not who we are. Students researched 2016 presidential candidates and shared aspects of the presidential hopefuls platforms, which included immigration, health care, and the environment. Being indigenous, a lot of people don't take us seriously to be educated enough to go out there and learn the laws of our country. And to, they think that we, they can just step over us saying like, oh, they're just Indians, they don't know what law is, they don't know what they can and cannot do kind of thing. And so if people do understand that how important it is to get an education and learn how to write and how to speak well, then it can in return help native country all over America. We will make America strong, we will make America proud again, and we will make America great again. The young people took a voting pledge to spread awareness of issues facing tribal communities, to advocate for their people, engage in future elections, and promote voting with family and friends. I don't want Native Americans to be the invisible vote, and I want to be an advocate because I want people to get out there and vote and put themselves out there to make a difference. Students are taking a look at how today's decisions will impact future generations. But what I do strongly support is the legalization of marijuana. If we don't get involved uh, as Native Americans, then we are just giving up everything that our ancestors and our elders have fought for this whole entire time from the minute that Columbus stepped foot on North America. The decision that we make today, it'll affect the country and it'll affect us and our families in a big way in the long run. Thinking about the future and making a path for the next generation and generations to come is passed on from families, tribal leaders, and elders, just as art is also passed on. Hmm. I'd like to see um, more candidates come in and, uh, and target Native Americans in terms of the youth. 
Um, I'd like to see more promissory um, advocates for uh, tuition-free schools. My vote for the future use is to be able to have them um, have um, a core curriculum that is all in their indigenous language. Hi. And I'd like to see not for one, not for one hour blocks, like four hour blocks. The middle school, this is all a middle school. We want to rock the vote, you know, that we want to get Native Americans to vote, but nations like my own, we don't advocate for voting. It's just not part of our traditional um, uh, ingredients. But there's hope on reservations um, that uh, maybe uh, the next person who gets into office will be able to um, fulfill what President Barack Obama and what the other presidents had done before him. One small step for mankind is one huge step for the, Indian, the indigenous race to include non-natives because their blood's red too. This program is produced by New Mexico PBS for a presentation of Vision Maker Media with major funding provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.